the message. Revelation chapter 17, Daniel chapter 2. Nobody can get a, the right kind of grip on the book of Revelation without knowing something about the book of Daniel and vice versa. You've heard me say over and over, the Old Testament is the New Testament concealed and the New Testament is the Old Testament revealed. That means there's things hid by types and shadows, especially a lot of prophecy, in the Old Testament that you can't figure out unless you understand the New Testament. They're intertwined. They complement each other. So this morning, two places in your Bible, Daniel chapter number 2, Revelation chapter 17. In Daniel chapter 2, we have seen this king has a dream. King Nebuchadnezzar dreams. He sees this big image. This image has a head of gold. Then it goes down to sil brass, silver, and on down other metals as it goes down. And God reveals to him that that's the history of the world and how it's going to go. Kingdoms. For example, he said, Nebuchadnezzar, thou art this head of gold. Then there was the Greece, Greece Empire, the Media Persian Empire, the Roman Empire, and it goes on down to the feet. Now notice, notice what he says here about this end of this image. Daniel chapter 2 and verse number 41. This is important. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes. How many toes have? Ten. Part of the potter's clay and part of iron. That kingdom would be divided, but be in the strength of the iron. That iron represents Roman kingdom. The clay represents People, humanity, he's the potter with the, with the clay. We're made out of clay. We're made out, all through the Bible. People are made out of clay. Then you got iron trying to mix with clay. Verse 42, and as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. Now look at this verse. This is one of the strangest verses in the whole Bible. Verse 43, and whereas thou sawest iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. Who's the they? Who's the they? Them ten kings and kingdoms that are iron will try to mingle and mix with clay. And you know how we know this is the last kingdom? Look, verse 44. And in the days of these kings, them ten kings, Shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed? There's your millennium. So we got a scenario here when it comes to one man running the whole world and got ten demoniac kings working under him. That's when God's going to set up his kingdom on this earth. Now look at Revelation 17. Revelation 17. Look at verse number um, 12. Revelation 17, 12. And the ten horns, there's that ten again, there's them ten kings again, which thou sawest are ten kings, which have received no kingdom of yet. They didn't have a kingdom when John wrote it, but they'll have it at the time of the end. But receive power as kings one hour with the beast, the Antichrist. These have one mind. It's a one world religion, a one world government. These have one mind. You know what they're saying? They're saying the only way we can straighten out the world problem is get everybody together. Now, I'm going to make a statement now. I want you to listen to what I'm going to say. Any effort, any effort to get all the nations together without God is of the devil. God wants us to be one in the spirit and one in mind. Any effort to try to get everybody together to believe and do the same thing without God is the devil. Now, he said and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. So in, in the Bible, iron, if you've ever studied iron in the Bible, iron's a, an unusual study in the Bible. It pops up over and over and over with them sons of God, demonic creatures, supernatural, higher forms of being, some kind of intermingling with the seed of men. In Genesis, right before the flood, the Bible said the sons of God, the daughters of men, they, they mixed with 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 women trying to produce a super race, and that's where them giants come from, those giants in the Old Testament. Now listen to me. Those, that thing shows up in 1 Samuel 17, iron in Goliath's armor. 
Og, the king of Bashan, the big giant, his bed said was made of iron. Behemoth, a picture of the devil in the book of Job, it said his bars, his, his bones are like bars of iron. And the Leviathan in the next chapter, picture of the devil, is also connected with iron. Iron and steel and iron and steel mixing. You want, you want me to tell it to you in a, nut, in, in a nutshell? Iron Man. Why does the kids love Iron Man now? Isn't that a weird thing? Why do all the kids love Iron Man cartoons? Iron, why do all the kids love the super, super men that are part machine and part flesh? Because that book said they would mingle themselves with the seed of men. Demoniac king. Now, I'm, I'm going to say something right here, and I don't know if this is right or not, but I wouldn't be surprised. I'm just going to throw it out there. It may be, and I said it may be, and it will be soon, but it may be now that there are people on this earth that not are all completely human. And if they're not here now, they are definitely coming. Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so will it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Now, why do I say all that? I say all that because of what I'm going to show you this morning. There is a move today to get technology in, in your brain, in your hand, in your forehead as a part of your body. Mingling machines and humans. Mixing machines and humans. I'm going to show you that this morning in just a second. And if I can get a picture, I want you to watch it real carefully. And, and then, then we'll move on to something else. Now, the Bible talks about these demonic creatures. And the Bible talks about um, the, the Roman Empire. That was that, that iron Roman Empire mixing in with them clays. And it's still going on today. Don't ever count that Pope and that Roman Catholic Church out, people. They're still alive and well, working on the wrong side of God. Amen? Nothing personal. If it's your grandma or something like that, I love her. Uh, but uh, that's, a, that's a false religion. Now, I want you to watch this this morning. And uh, as I show it to you, I want you to give me your attention and listen. Okay, Jimmy, you can go ahead. Now, now I want you to watch this very carefully this morning. Remember what I've been talking about. The seed of, of, of demoniac creatures mixing with people trying to create a super race. Uh, and watch this this morning. I want you to... Uh, it's like this, uh, being injected into humans. What's this? Let me start this over just a second. Look at this iPhone 6 or 7 or 8, whatever. iPhone 6. But would you insert a chip in one of those hands to use the device? This is where we're headed, ladies and gentlemen, with the mark on the forehead or hand. A microscopic tag being planted in a person's body to track his every movement. There's actual dis Mark my words before your tenure is over. What's this? Can't this be implanted. That people will stand in line and in queues for it to have, so that ultimately we will have in our body. Now we're having little tats, tattoos, little biometrics, all of them leading to the ultimate goal, and that is an RFID, a radio frequency identification or similar chip, to be placed subcutaneously. And that chiplet will have everything about you. There. That's where we're headed. Serious step. You know what? They're saying here that we can be now become godlike. There's a lot of talk about that now. That we are helping our next step of evolution. We evolved, you know, they believe, from the tadpoles in the, in the creek somewhere, and now we're big and smart and we can do all this stuff, and now we're going to push human evolution and become like God. Becoming one with God. One with God. Politics this, this is the issue that will fall in the century. said, so this is the time of the century, this century that we're in, becoming godlike. As we merge with machines, and I think it's inevitable that we will. See that? Look at that. Man and machine. Man and machine. Mingling with the seed of men. We will transform into something new. Yep. So we can start linking with each other. Look at that. That's the commercials, merging technology and intelligence. By 2045, they say this is the way humans are going to be all be cloned and we won't have no problems no more and we won't fuss and fight because everybody will be just alive. Of the entire human race. 
And we will become godlike. Once we plug we'll become down. godlike. Bring them out on the assembly line. Listen to this. Which leads to an obvious conclusion. We are the gods. In medical news tonight, a chip the size of a grain of rice could save your life. I've just been chipped myself. Uh, it's Look at that. Painless process, but it doesn't last too long, not too difficult. Minor surgical procedure. New microchip technology now makes it possible for the emergency room staff to find out about your medical hit. See that? Chipped myself. Got my We're all going to have RFIDs. It might be even in our fingers, where they require it with everything on it. Instead of carrying credit cards or money, we will probably be implanted. With We're headed for a cashless society. Sure as you're sitting in them seats. The Bible says it. Look at that. When a man robs a bank, he thinks he's getting away with it. Now they've got chips planted in the bag of money, and they can find him in a few minutes. So you better watch it if anybody's got any plans here this week. The chips enable officers to track these crooks wherever. We need some system for permanently identifying safe people. Is that something? Sleeping. Everyone in the city was installed code. It was a brilliant idea by Dr. Cocteau that an organically bioengineered microchip be sewn into the skin. Sensors all over the city can zero in on anyone at any time. I can't Isn't that something? Like one of them is the mechanical mismatch between humans and electronics. She's talking about humans and electronics. This is everywhere in magazines. It's everywhere mixing machines inside of people's body. Iron and clay. So electronics are boxy and rigid, humans are curvy and soft. He did is he founded a company and they started making electronic tattoos. So I, I'm wearing one here on my arm. This is a development system made by MC10 and it has uh, an antenna and some sensors embedded in it. And what we plan to do is work with them to advance a tattoo that could be used for authentication. Now, this, this pill... Now, what she's saying is her tattoo... It's, it's, it's viable, it moves, it bends, and it's got all your information in it. So if you can open your car, open your house, check your bank account, do all your online stuff, just waving your hand. And it's already happening. Now see, now look people, we are headed toward a time when there'll be a one world government. And I know people say, well, we'll never go along with that. Well, I, yep, you know what's going to happen? An emergency. I can't prove this, what I'm saying, but I believe something really bad's going to happen. Really bad. Well, I know it is eventually, but soon or maybe in the next few years, and it'll cause people to say, okay, okay, we'll do whatever if you can just give us our phones back, give us our connection back, give us our internet back, give us, let the groceries, uh, let there be uh, bread in the store, let there be milk in the store. We'll just, we'll take it. Okay, come on. That's how it's going to work. Watch this. Has a small chip inside of it with a... This is a pill you swallow with a chip in it. Take one every day. It also has what amounts to an inside-out potato battery. A battery. When you swallow it, the acids in your stomach serve as the electrolyte, and they power it up, and the switch goes on and off. And it creates an 18-bit ECG-like signal in your body, and essentially your entire body becomes your authentication token comes my first superpower. Superpower. It means that my arms are like wires, my hands are like... My arms are like wires. She said it gives me superpower. Remember when that in the Old Testament, they produced giants? This time, we're producing super iron men, Wonder Woman, all that stuff like that. Hollywood gets their ideas from somewhere. It's because this stuff's really happening. Alligator clips when I touch my phone, my computer, my door, my car, I'm authenticated in. What she means is she can just touch a computer, phone, anything, gets logged in just like that, opens the car, opens the door. You don't have to worry about losing your keys. You don't have to worry about losing your purse. You don't have to worry about somebody stealing your money. It's all right there. First thing. Like you just literally put your hand up and you're good to go. Like that's crazy. What's this? Senior writer with BuzzFeed News. And uh, in order to see what the future of money looks like, I decided to live for a month uh, just paying for things. He said, I'm going to live for a month and not even use no money. So this is what he did. My phone. And ends up getting a microchip implanted inside my hand to see if I could be uh, the first person in the world to... Uh... 
Isn't that something? Listen to yeah, Credit Sweden. Sweden happens to be way far ahead of the United States when it... Sweden, way far ahead of the United States. That's a fact. All the wicked filth in the world starts over there in Denmark and Sweden, then it jumps over to California and works its way back to us. We get it last, thank God, but it finally gets here. And I'm telling you, there is something rotten in Denmark. And ladies and gentlemen, look at what they're saying here. Uh, getting rid of cash. I ended up uh, meeting with some people. Microchips like this are being injected into humans. I'm sorry, sir, did you just say you, you would get one implanted in your arm? Absolutely, without a doubt. Our driver's license will be on the RFID chip. Our credit card number, all our information will be on this one chip. Look at that, RFID. It felt pretty scary, but at the same time, it feel, felt very modern, very 2015. The government has just... You know what she's saying? ...computer chip that would be implanted under your skin. When complete, everyone will have a unique 12-digit identity number. If hospitals purchase this detection equipment, the system will most likely start to include more and more people in those communities who will want the chips. The new currency called the Amero, right? And, uh... Now, this guy was connected with the people who invented this stuff and talked to them. And this is where we're headed. You say, well, I got my money hid. Well, that'd be all right for a while. But when it ain't worth nothing, it ain't going to help you. You can't eat it. I'm telling you, the way out of here this morning is be saved and be ready to meet Jesus Christ. That's the answer. That's the answer. Uh, what the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one-world government where everybody has an, R, R, an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be um, in those chips, right? There'll be no more cash. And this is giving me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. And all he said that comes straight from Rockefeller. Money will be in your chips. Take out whatever they want to take out, whatever they this guy died not long after he told this, mysteriously. He's dead they now. You owe us this much money in taxes. They just deducted out of your chip. Total control. And you're protesting. You know what they're saying here? He's saying if you owe taxes, they don't send you a bill and say come and pay up. They just take it out. You don't have a choice. And if you don't cooperate, guess what they can do? Punch, just like they do your satellite. Punch, they'll turn your chip off. And you can't buy or sell without it. Oh, preacher, you're just trying to scare people. Listen, everything I'm saying is backed up by this book right here. Thank God we can go to the store today. Thank God Jesus is taking care of us. And I'm telling you, the way out of this mess is up. Because this is coming. I may not see it, but some of you kids will, and our grandkids will. We may not see all this happen, but then again, we may. All it's going to take is a big emergency. What there? You know, controlled by them, all your money in those chips, and they control the chips, and they control people, and you become a slave. You become a serf to these people. That's their goal. That's their intentions. That's it's not a problem because you can use the microchip that's been embedded under your skin by the team. An Argentinian soccer team planning experimentally to this point to offer supporters a chance. You want to hear a dumb woman talk? It's to implant a microchip in their skin. Let's them walk right through, like easy pass in your right. car. It's an easy pass. You just walk right into the stadium. But the easy pass is in your car, not in your wrist. That's you correct. See, I'm not really thinking about it in terms of sports as much as I would love to put one in my kids. <laughs> just to know what you hear that? That's the trend. My dog has one. Right. And she ran. Mm -hmm. And they, somebody did deliver her to a, a facility, a, a place, and they scanned her, and then they found us. And I honestly am not completely against chipping my children. What are they going to do when strong delusion comes out, buddy? Moms and dads, you know that feeling. Your child gets lost in a store, maybe just wanders off for a second or two. Your heart stops, though. Panic sets in, and you think the worst. It's happened to most of us, but what if you had a secret weapon, an extra layer of safety, so to speak? How far would you go to keep your children secure? Would you be willing to microchip them? Experts tell us the technology already exists. The technology already exists. Guess who's doing it? Guess who's putting chips now 
in the, in the, pre, the priest and the cardinals. Guess who? Tail will reportedly begin using RFID technology to begin tracking priests and employees at the Vatican. They need somebody to track them. The move to use the tracking technology comes... I know that the, one of the major religions of the world who've had the opportunity to study the Bible and take into account its application in the real world doesn't believe that the RFID device has anything to do with revelations. But if it's... Now, what he just said is, it's wonderful that the Pope thinks this has nothing to do with the Bible. That's what he said. Now, I'm not saying the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. You didn't hear me say that, so don't read into it. I didn't say it was, but I'll tell you one thing. It sure is a step headed that way. Amen? It sure is, people. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you this morning, we are in the last day. We are in the last time. The Lord could come at any moment. Kids, if you're not saved, get saved today. If you're not right, get right today. If you're not living for the Lord, do it today. Why well, you got to change? Because this thing is winding up. Your old John. Sure enough, 666 is in every barcode. I'll put the link. 666 is in every barcode in your house right now. Toothpaste, dog food, syrup, pancakes, I don't care, mustard, ketchup. Uh, on, everything you buy at the store has a barcode on it right now. And there's two lines on one end, that's a six. Two lines in the middle, that's a six. And two lines coming down on the other end, that's a six. This guy interviewed the guy and they tried to deny it. But listen to it. To this article. People like George Lauer, who is credited as the creator of the UPC barcode, dismissed the idea that those patterns were sixes on either end in the middle of the barcode? Well, they lied. They lied. And not only did they lie, but there's technical proof of the fact that they lied. And there's who were central on the committee to creating the UPC barcode. I have technical evidence that I'm giving in the second edition of the Antichrist and a Cup of Tea that the UPC barcode does, in fact, represent three sixes on either end. The barcodes, which are the six Ain't that something? Already, the barcodes and bear the same pattern. Also, I'm giving technical evidence that three sixes are inbuilt physically and technologically into many of the RFID chips that are out there. Six 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 is built inside the RFID chip. chips. That are it means access to more food. Now, I've had people ask me. They said, "What about those people in other countries? They don't even have birth certificates. The, the government don't even know they exist." How's all the people in the world? Well, did you know right now there's a major move right now to get all these people and get information to them? They're taking the Internet in there to them. They are now telling them, hey, we're going to help you. You're not going to be poor no more. We'll give you food. We'll give you sugar. We'll give you uh, th things to drink. We'll give you bread to eat. And now all you got to do is take this card. And they're doing it right now. With this card, we'll be able to get rations, rice, oil, wheat, sugar, all these things. Will... Rickshaw operator Motilal just received his card. He says the identification opens... That's door. people that live out where they don't even have no electricity, brother. People in Venezuela now have to use their fingerprints to get food. The move to biometrics... Venezuela now, it's not an option. It's mandated. You don't have to use your fingerprints to get food. You don't think those countries will take it without a heartbeat? You don't, there'll be no put up, there'll be no resistance. By the way, there's only one group of people in this world that stand against this stuff. Guess who? Bible-believing Christians. That's it. The government's for it. The other religions are for it. All the people in the world's for it. The leaders of the world are all for it. There's only one group that's in the way. Guess what? We's fixing to get out of the way. Amen. And but in all hell's going to break loose. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. What's this? It has this? become a reality, even though the effort began a few years ago by President Nicolas Maduro. It is being called... Now, look, here's what's going on. They just had a big to-do in this in New York City and in, in Central Park about two or three weeks ago. You become a global citizen. I ain't politicking. I mean, all the politicians are crooks. But do you know why the government, everybody wanted Hillary Clinton to be the president so bad? Because she pushes a global government and economy. And I ain't politicking for nobody. 
I know all the, they're all a bunch of crooks. But I'm telling you this morning, the old Bernie and all them people like that, they're socialists. And socialism means elevate all the poor people up, bring all the rich people down, spread the wealth, give it, eat it all out. That sounds good, but it don't work. That's a one-world economy and a one-world monetary system. Here's what's coming. Here's what's happening now. I'm sending information against the... I stand information against poverty. Poverty. Pollution. pollution. Well, I need to be the... Gender discrimination. Contaminated water. I'm a and I'm a global citizen. Global citizen. Global you see the devil bringing everybody together? These all with one mind give their power to the beast. You see it? Watch it. I hope you got it spiritual. I hope you're spiritual enough to understand. I hope you're not so dumb that you just watch TV and don't read your Bible and you're saying, oh, I think that's a wonderful thing. I hope you're not that far off base. We will live in a world where no child has a diet. Diseases we know how to cure. And where proper health care is a lifelong right for us all. We will live in a world where everyone goes to school. And education gives us the knowledge and skills for a fulfilling life. Now let me say something. I think it's wonderful. That if we could feed everybody in the world, if everybody in the world had a good ed ed education, that would be a wonderful thing. But the problem is, you bring all this gender identification in it and stuff and leave God out and it whips everybody in to a place where they're willing to accept the Antichrist. That's the problem. And that's where it's set it, headed. Churches do more to feed people than that crowd does any day of the week all put together. Thrive and be powerful. In a world where all people can get clean water. And proper toilets at home, at school, and at work. We live in a world where there's sustainable energy for Everybody get together. And power for the whole planet. Without destroying the planet. We will live in a new world. Do you hear that? Decent jobs for everyone. And we will live in a world where our industry our infrastructure and our best innovations are not just best innovations are not just used to make money but to all make all our, our lives better. better we will live in the world where prejudices and extremes of inequality are defeated inside our countries and between different countries where people live in cities and communities that are safe and progressive and support and everyone who lives there where everybody's getting together where we put back what we take out of the earth where we restore and protect the life in our oceans and seas. Restore and protect life on land, the forests, animals, the earth itself. With peace between and inside countries. You know what your Bible says? When they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with a child. The Antichrist comes in with false peace. Ships of all kinds. To make make these local calls a reality. Be no prince of peace on this earth till the Prince of Peace comes. Sustainable development. Let's, Let's get, get to work. work. Let's make it happen. Using cognitive analysis. Listen to this. ...of artificial intelligence and is opening a new Accenture Technology Lab and Center for Innovation in Dublin. The team will use the grant to explore the interface between humans and machines using... Exploring the diff integration of humans and machines. Mingling with the seed of men. Cognitive analysis to better understand how both can collaborate and interact effectively. You got a machine in you. Here's what Hi, they're doing Sophia. now. How are you? Hi there. Everything is going extremely well. Do you a robot. Like with me? Yes. Talking to people is my primary function. It develops extremely lifelike robots for human-robot interactions. We're designing these robots to serve in part of iron and part of clay. You say, preacher, you see how different that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination to God. Look here, folks. Here's where we're headed. In healthcare, therapy, education, and customer service applications. It really would sound like a good idea, don't it? I mean, if you didn't know the Bible, you'd think, man, that's great. Put it right there. I won't have to worry about leaving my money. I won't have to worry about losing my wallet. I won't have to worry about keeping my keys on me. I can just go shopping. I can just do whatever I want to, and it'll all be there and done. That sounds great, except for one thing. 
That old book said he causeth all to receive a mark in the right hand or their forehead. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird that it just so happens to be just exactly what the Bible says? There's that barcode. You see that? These people in their church are having 666 tattooed on them. That there is no sin, and today we're honoring him with a symbol. Joanne DeHay put on her arm, Look at that. necks with 666, the biblical sign of the Antichrist. Why? Can do a store. Here's where we're at already. Watch this little commercial. What if we could invent a grocery store? What you want, and just go. What if we could weave the most advanced machine learning, computer vision, and AI into the very fabric of a store so you never have to wait in line? No lines, no checkouts, no registers. Amazon. Sounds great to me. Use the Amazon Go app to enter. Then put away your phone and start shopping. It's really that simple. Just walk out technology. Once you've got everything you want, you can just go. When you leave, our Just Walk Out technology adds up your virtual cart and charges your Amazon account. Your receipt is sent straight to the app, and you can keep going. Amazon Go. No lines, no checkout. No, seriously. Man, I'd vote for that, wouldn't you? Lord in mercy, I was at Walmart. I'm, I'm sitting there and I thought, I believe that line's a little faster. And then I go over there, and this woman's got something all messed up, and I stand there for 30 and them people that's behind me is already going out. Do you do that? Yes. Like, ah! ah! That's America. Let's look at here. Look what the devil's doing to our teenagers while he's working on the government. That's rock singers and rap singers advertising the number of the beast so kids will get it. Look at that. Uh, there's tons of re records and albums and CDs. Look at that. Route 66. The Omen, that 666 movie. See all them sixes turned around like that? CERN, Park Avenue, up there in New York. Beelzebub, that's, a, that's a, uh, another name for Satan. The Lucifer, the devil. Thank you, Lord Satan. See his shirt? We're, and y'all ashamed to wear a Christian T-shirt? Afraid somebody might think you're a fanatic? Look at here, y'all. See the sixes interwoven into that Google stuff. There they are. The monster symbol, that uh, teen Satan. And over and over and over. Look what our idols are doing. Look what the idols are doing. More stores are refusing to take cash. Many stores are moving towards a cashless system. Deity. Sweden is slowly becoming a cashless society. That's the paper reports. Have so it ain't just me, my imagination run wild. With one world religion, one nationality, one king. And how many people you think that's, would think that's Jesus because of the pictures they've been shown? It's the king over a one world government, but look closely at the dark right eye. Like the Bible says, the Antichrist with a new order has in Zechariah chapter 11. With a new world order. You say, well, I didn't even know that was in the Bible. Turn your iPad off a couple of hours a day and get in the book. Find out what God says. Look at there. It is possible to cut it off or cut it That, that was Jesus, they said, they're making it cool. To buy or sell. You can't buy or sell. Movie stars advertising. The Beast, the Antichrist. Today, Satan used all 666 emblazoned on the back of his shirt as he promotes the mark. Look at this rock group. That's a rock concert, y'all. Slash from Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses guy. Britney Spears, page 666, wearing it out in public. Star Selena, Gomez. Selena Gomez. She's about giving her soul to the rock god with a shirt which print actress Emma Roberts. Emma Roberts, movie, movie star. Antichrist. Kylie Jenner. Kylie Jenner. Role model for millions of little girls promoting that number. 
There's something going on, y'all. Antichrist name. The rest of these artists have... See the 666 sign with her, with her hand like that right there? I don't mean three-pointer. It's an international sign. They're deceiving being deceived. The dark right eye of the Antichrist in Zechariah chapter number 11. You know what I'd do if I was you? If I was you here this morning and I wasn't saved, I'd say, Lord Jesus, I'm ready. I'd give my life to Jesus this morning. I would not wait another moment. You'll be deceived. The Bible said strong delusion is coming. That they'll believe a lie and be damned that believe not the truth. Listen to me, teenagers. You only get one life. You only get one shot. You only get one life. Don't blow it. Don't use it. Don't waste it on things that don't matter. The Bible said he's coming. There's that right. Look at the tattoos. The all-seeing eye of Satan. Remember we studied the owl a few weeks ago? You know why owls are so popular? On jewelry? Read the book. Picture of an evil spirit. Sorry, I don't mean to make some of you mad, but my job is to preach the truth. Flight 666. Satan's child. 666. Iron Maiden. Route 666. The underworld. The mafia. At concerts. Look at the guitar. Lady Doo Doo. Ugly Wayne. Anton LaVey, the pastor of the First Church of Satan. Right from a sci-fi movie, but people all over the world are implanting these into their wrists. Did you hear that? We're becoming a part of our bodies. But what if they really could become a part of our body? He said, what if they really could become a part of us? Mix iron and clay. That's what he says. Well, guess what? They can. Meet the RFID microchip. Ain't that something? To get into his car, again, put out his hand. Grafstra has four radio... Here's what's coming, according to the book. Now, I don't know if it's going to be an asteroid. I don't know if it's going to be something else. But here's what's going to happen. According to the book of Revelation, there'll be things going on. Why do you think the weather patterns are changing? Why do you think that? You say, well, Brother Danny, this is depressing. Not if you're saying right with God, it ain't. Man, this is good news. This is good news. The Lord's coming back, people. We're going to get to go to heaven and live forever and ever and ever and see Jesus and see mom and dad. This is real. This is reality. There's only one life. It'll soon be passed. Only what's done for Jesus is going to last. Right, get on fire for God. Get you some camp meeting flyers. Get you a handful of tracts. Bring your family to church. Pray with your kids. Get in the book, teenagers. That's all that's going to matter one of these days. Listen to this. Here's what's coming to this old world. You talk about a tsunami, you ain't seen nothing yet. According to the Bible, the cities of the nations fell. According to the book of Revelation 17, 18, but it went a 200-foot two, wave, comes in off of that ocean by earthquake underneath it and hits our cities. Buddy, you talk about hell to pay. There's going to be, God's going to have the final say. Do you hear me, kids? God's going to have the final word. It's going to be awful. That's called the wrath of God when he finally pours it out on this earth. All this stuff the Bible says happens, happens, and the rest of it's going to happen too. You can count on it. I want you to know you need to be saved today. I'm glad I'm saved. I'm glad I'll be delivered from the wrath to come. I'm glad, thank God, my name's in the book of life, and I know where I'm going, hallelujah, when I leave this world. I hope you do too. Because there's the future of this world. Read Revelation 17 and 18 before you think I'm just being mean and judgmental. Read your Bible. Read that book. It said it long, long time ago. I'm telling you this morning, ladies and gentlemen, there will be no place to hide. They'll cry for the rocks and the mountains to hide them from the face of God that's on the throne. But there'll be no place to hide. There'll be no place to run. It's going to be a terrible, terrible, terrible time. You say, preacher, is that really going to happen? Listen, we've spit in God's face. We've wasted our life on God's day. We lay out of church. Don't even pick up your Bible all week long. Legalize gay marriage. People getting drunk, living in sin, shacking up. You better believe God is going to get the last word one of these days. 
the wrath of God's going to hit this old world and things are going to change big time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible said the cities of the nations fell. You wind up in hell. What a terrible thing. Wouldn't that be awful to die and go to hell without God? You never get out. You never get out. For all eternity. And there's no way out. No escape. No way out. I want to show you this. Come on, Miss See that right there? That right there is the only way out. Jesus died on that cross that day and he said, I am the way. Before he died on the cross, he said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father except by me. I want you to bow your head, please. Every head bowed, every eye closed. She's playing softly. Give me just a little more light up front, Jimmy. Just a little. Nobody's moving. Nobody's talking. We've worked very hard. That's fine. Sir. Very hard for this day. Kids, I don't know if you're a Christian. I don't know. But I have one question to ask everybody in here. If you died today, this was your last day on earth. Are you sure, ma'am, that you'd go to heaven? You say, preacher, I'm, I'm awful upset. I'm nervous. You scared me that. Listen, I'm not trying to scare you, but the Bible says these things are going to happen. And I didn't touch. That's not the tip of the iceberg. You talk about the sores, the water turning to blood. All that stuff's going to happen. People try to die, and death will flee from them. The tribulation's coming, y'all. It's coming. If I was you here this morning, I'd make things right. Now our heads are bowed and our eyes are closed. I want to ask you a question. Do you know if you died today on the way home that you'd go to heaven? If your answer is no or I don't know, I'm going to ask you to come out, get out of your seat, get down here in this altar, and make sure. Make sure. Make sure. Father, do what ought to be done right now. Do what ought to be done. In Jesus' name. Some's coming. Some of you ladies come and pray with this dear lady. We need somebody that can take a Bible and show somebody how to get saved. Let's stand. Folks are coming from all over the building. Everyone's standing. Come on, just get out of your seat. Come on, teenagers. Come on, young people. Come on. We need some soul winners up here that can pray. Bus workers, adults, somebody, somebody come pray with this man. These other, come on, kids. Come on. Come on. Just get your heart right with God. Let's sing this first verse. Everybody, sing now. Just that. I come on, just get out of your seat and come right now. Come on, teenagers. Somebody pray with this boy. Somebody pray with these over here. Thy blood wash it. Somebody pray with these over here. Somebody pray with them. You come on right now. And that sink, thou bidst me come to thee. Amen. Somebody pray with your Woo! Got some prayers being answered over here. Lord, I come. I come. You come on right now. Come on, second verse. Just as I am and waiting not. Take your Bible. Take your Bible. Show somebody how to get saved. So of one dark blood to thee whose blood can cleanse each part. Oh, Lamb of God, I come, I come. God's doing work here this morning. Say it now. First verse. As I am without one plea. Come on this morning, friend. That, help me sing, y'all. My blood was shed. Just get out of your seat and come right now. And that. Thou bidst me come to Thee, O Lamb of God, I come. The days of the apocalypse. Let's sing one more verse, first verse. Just 
We're living in the days of the apocalypse, friend. We're living in the end times when those toes begin to mix iron and clay. The God of heaven will set up a kingdom that will smash and destroy all other kingdoms. Come on right now. I believe, O Lamb of God, I come. I come. She's playing softly this morning. Some still up here praying. I preached the morning this morning on the days of the apocalypse. You've heard that word. That word's not in the Bible, but the word apocalypse means the end, the unveiling, the taking the cover off of the end days. That's what I preached on. You've been enlightened. You are now, you are now among the few people in the world that really know what's going on. So now every time you see this stuff, you're going to say, I don't know where that's at. I know where that's headed. I know where that... And you say, well, how do you know it's true? What's, what's the odds of us happening just like the Bible said? Right hand? I mean, really? You overdraw your bank account after a while. Those odds can't happen. All the prophecies being fulfilled. That's not a coincidence. That's the only reason we're here on this earth is how God said here in this book. We're going to sing that verse again. You get out of your seat. You've been holding back. You come on right now. Come on. Last change. Come on right now. Ready? Just as say, I am without one plea. Sing it with me. But that thy blood was shed for me. Say, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come. You come. All right. These are still praying this morning. Give me just a little bit more light, brother. Amen. Thank God. This lady just got saved here, y'all. That's, that's good, Jim. Huh? That's your niece? Praise God. Hallelujah. They, you know what the Bible said when somebody gets saved? It said there's rejoicing in the presence of the angels of God. That's what it said. I sure am glad I get to be in the greatest work in the world. I ain't much of a church. Remember, I ain't much of a preacher. But I tell you one thing, I know what's right and what ain't. I know what's true and what's not true. Too much evidence. There's too much evidence. We, we couldn't have just popped out of nowhere. It's real. It's real. There is a God. And I advise you to give everything you've got to Him this morning. Did somebody else pray with somebody that got saved this morning? Some still pray. This man got saved. That one over there got There's several hands going up. Somebody else pray with somebody who just got saved this morning. There's no telling him he gets saved back here in junior church today. That's what church is for. That's what church is about. I'm glad that I go to a church that believes and goes out and gets people and brings them in and sees them get saved. Amen. Amen. No rock concert here. We're in business of preaching the Word of God. Amen, preacher. Hallelujah. It'll still get the job done. Okay, Jimmy, give me some more. Amen. All right, thank the Lord. Uh, now, we will have this on DVD. If you want to get it and show it to friends, of course, it'll be on the Internet by probably Thursday. It's called The Days of the Apocalypse. That's the title of the message this morning. Days of the Apocalypse. You'd have to study it real slow to get all that stuff I spit out there. But it all falling into place. The chips, no pun intended, are all falling in place. Weird, isn't it? Weird. You know what me and you ought to be praying? Even so, come quickly, Lord Jesus. Sooner the better. I'd just soon go from here anywhere else, wouldn't you? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, look, we don't we 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 could have people up here, we could have testimonies and everything, but right quickly, these flyers up here are to go out of here today and get put up. If you live near a place of business, store, mall, Dollar General. Uh, any place like that, take one of these and put them up. I got one. We got the Nebo Mall. I'd put them up there. And uh, 
if, if you want these, come and get them, take them out of here. Then tonight, we'll meet back at 6 o'clock this evening. 6 o'clock this evening. It's very important service tonight. Getting us ready for camp meeting. Camp meeting.